Hello, hello, uh, welcome, 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 welcome to Mario's Web Crap of the Week, Season 3, Episode 26. This, this is the show where we search the net to find all the web crap and compile it together and put it up for you, for your viewing pleasure. We do the heavy lifting so that you don't have to. But first up, let's have a word from our sponsor. And our sponsor this week is Howie Wallowitz from Big Bang Theory. A uh, regular viewer of Web Crap of the Week, Harry says like and subscribe to Mario so that you don't miss an episode of Web Crap of the Week and you get all the other excellent stuff that Mario provides on a daily basis. So let's uh, let's get on with the show. I don't know how that happened, but anyway, here it is, our cover page. Uh, in this case here, no, we're not. Uh, that's not quite what we're what we were talking about. So moving on from Howie's uh, excellent uh, sponsorship, we are now going to. Uh, this little, uh, the first uh, one up, Who Let the Owls Out? Don't sing the chorus, you'll make it worse. Who, who, who let the owls out? <laughs> yes, something to ponder on. So, moving right along to the next one. Now, I loved this one. I saw this one. I thought this was bloody hilarious. I even explained it to a couple of people verbally and they thought it was quite good. Um, I had a, one of my colleagues there who provided an excellent example of the, the haircut in question. So this little boy told his father that he pierced his ear to make him look older. So his father gave him uh, this haircut here. Um, yeah, it certainly makes him look quite a lot older. Although I have to say, I think that's tears. He does not look happy, the young chappy. Alrighty, so, ah, energy saving bulbs, want to go for a run? No, oh, no, you go ahead, saving energy, <laughs> saving energy, that's the one. Alrighty, next up, now, um, if you um, don't like miso misogyny, turn away. This is a non-PC um, sexist sort of uh, one, this one, but... Um, I saw this advertise. well, I saw the written underneath this one, and it said, um, what a good idea, blocking the couch in like that with the dishwasher. But um, I'm sorry, ladies, but I'll make up for it in the next one. Never mind, don't worry. You'll get, you, I'll, I'll, it'll even out. Very fair uh, here. Uh, I wish to be irresistible to men. Woof! 10 millimeter socket, yes. Yes, I've found the 10 millimeter socket site on Facebook. Hmm, irresistible to men, the 10 millimeter socket. Apparently, or to these guys anyway. And now uh, look, we've got another one. I'm a man looking for uh, my 10 millimeter socket. I have to say, it's um, I can empathize there. I've looked for a 10 millimeter socket many times. They're not the easiest ones to identify in a in a lineup of sockets. Yes. All right, and here we have Vinyl Richie. Vinyl Richie. I almost contemplated using vinyl for the um, for our sponsor this week, but I thought he was just uh, even funnier than uh, being the sponsor. Vinyl Richie. Yep, that's the one. Now, this one here is an interesting one. It's in the, uh, or Trade Me or eBay or something like that. So it's a cell phone, um, locked, but comes with password. <laughs> locked, but comes with password. Yes. <laughs> well, that was uh, mm, a, bit, um, a bit ghoulish, actually. But, uh, yeah, nonetheless. Now... Um, this is uh, more of an Aussie Kiwi one, but I've found your problem, mate. You found belts rooted. 
Rooted means, um, well, it's, uh, mm, let me see. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's an alternative to the F-bomb, actually, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> means the same thing as well, but mostly in Australia and New Zealand, I, 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 I believe, but I could be wrong on that. Anyway, I found your problem, mate. Your fan belt's rooted. Yep. <laughs> okay, and um, this one I I enjoyed. Um, I'm a uh, yes. I'm I'm. I don't uh, drink at the moment. Well, I haven't drank for a few years now, so I um, can sort of well sort of empathise with this guy. But uh, I've been sober now forty three days, not in a row or anything, just in total. Uh, yeah, I was a, yeah. Hmm. I think we saw that same guy last week in a different uh, meme. I don't know. I think it's the same guy. He was the guy with the um, the dog, um, that the, the blacksmith's dog that uh, made a bolt for the door. Uh, this one. I, I laughed when I saw this one, and I even laughed again when I put it up here. Watching the World Cup, and this idiot decides to advertise my Wi-Fi password. <laughs> Yes, very good. Sorry um, if that's a family member of yours or something like that, but it is a very good joke. Dangerous road. Watch for potholes, sinkholes, and assholes. Yes, how true that is. Not everybody on the road has good intentions or your best interests at heart. Failed my masseur exam. Yeah, apparently I rubbed someone up the wrong way. Punny, punny. Oh, I love this one. I love this one. This microwave tells a poignant story of gradually abandoned good intentions. Fresh vegetables, frozen vegetables. Defrost, jacket potato, rice pasta, reheat beverage, popcorn, Frozen meal, reheat pizza. <laughs> yes, very, very clever, whoever um, put that one. Oh, what do we got there? Uh, this one here, the old bit of toilet humour. Um, patrons who have consumed the double chilli kebab are advised to fasten the seatbelt provided. Hmm, obviously, um, get ready for takeoff there. Yep. Okay, now this one here, well, uh, I think it's uh, safe enough for it. Premature ejaculator seeks beautiful woman with large breasts, a nice ass, and oh, 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 God, never mind. <laughs> uh, as a male, I found that very funny. It might not appeal to everyone. <laughs> mm. And, uh, yep, well, Steve Irwin, a lot of jokes about Steve Irwin. Wear sunblock, they said. Protects you from harmful rays, they said. <laughs> yeah, oh well, didn't quite work for Steve. Yep, oops, jumped ahead too quickly there. What have I done? Oh, oh, can't get back to where I wanted to be, damn it. Um, oh, here we are. Yep, alrighty, we're back, we're back. I'm back. Fat fingers, wrong buttons, technically challenged. You had one job from the one job category. Don't tell me what to do. Do not use blade to open. <laughs> yes. Nice shamrock there on the hand. Hmm. Do not stand, sit, climb or lean on zoo fences. If you fall, animals could eat you, and that might make them sick. We don't want that happening. Not around our zoo, anyway. How to get stabbed by your co-workers. <laughs> April Fool. April Fool. Mmm. <laughs> Krispy Kreme donuts. Yes. I have to say, I would be very disappointed. Not stabbingly disappointed, but mm, disappointed. Although I'd see the humour eventually. 
Living with addition. You have the power to change your life today. Yes, as a maths teacher and lover of maths, it can be tricky living with addition, I have to say. Hmm. Yeah, even harder living with multiplication, <laughs> subtraction and division. <laughs> but addition, oh. <laughs> you had one job. <laughs> yes. Correction. A headline on an item in the February 5th edition of the Enquirer Bulletin incorrectly stated stolen groceries. It should have read homicide. And this from our That Escalated Quickly desk. <laughs> sure did. Hmm. And another one from the You Had One Job files. The slippery slide into the roadway. Hmm. Questionable um, abilities there. And this one here, anti-funds go missing in Kenya. Kenya fails to mark World Anti-Corruption Day as funds meant for the event go missing. <laughs> Well, I sort of more or less think that's corruption in action. I think what better, um, you know, I like to, in my teaching and that, I like to be in, you know, provide real life examples. And I thought, well, this is a, a real life example, you know, it, in the moment. What more could you ask for? Okay, now this one here... Um, it can apply to anyone, really. So um, poor old Donald gets the butt of many jokes, but, uh, well, I'm just using his him as example. You could um, put in your uh, least favourite politician in there. Doesn't really matter. I've um, AIDS try to be apolitical in this show, So, um, but I saw this one and I thought, well, that's pretty good. You've got to go back to 1945, find Donald Trump's father, and give him a condom. And that's uh, from the viewers. And this is from Moz and Oz. From the viewers. Moz and Oz is, um, yeah, sent this one in. Thanks, Moz is a regular contributor and uh, sent this one through. So uh, pretty awesome there. And then uh, finally, finally, we've got uh, Isaac the Kids page. And a uh, little bit of a tip, Isaac. Uh, just be careful what you wish for. Dad, what do you want for your birthday? Son, I want a remote control car, Dad. Dad, say no more, son. Say no more. <laughs> Here he are. He's knocked up a bloody remote control car out of a few... Milk bottle tops and a uh, remote control <laughs> for the TV. <laughs> what a clever dad. Anyway, Isaac, I hope you enjoyed that one, that little hint there. And, uh, well, it's getting closer and closer to when we when we see you. So I'm um, looking forward to that. All good. So that brings us to the end of Web Crap of the Week. I hope you enjoyed the crap that we bought you. It's been, well, real crap. And uh, there's been quite a lot of it. So, uh, yeah, quality and quantity. Crap for everyone. So, thank you very much for your liking and subscribing. Feel free to comment. Tell us what your favourite piece of crap was. And uh, you can always send crap our way. We're pretty easy to find. Um, that's not a problem. If you do, just in the comments, we'll... We'll, we'll, we'll come and pick it up if we have to. So, uh, yep. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Cheers. See you. It's the web app of the week.